It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Fact Joe explains why he agrees with Jay-Z being ranked as the greatest rapper of all time man we're gonna listen to this audio if you're new to my channel thumbs up the video hit the subscribe button click that bell icon to be notified when i upload new content and go live let's listen the one i agree with them and this is not being political is they put jay-z first now why do i say jay-z first and i agree is because historically there's certain rappers who were the gods at the time who have flows like nobody else. But when they got older in age, it almost sounded like to the hip hop, hippy dippy dippy dip dip. It don't sound current with 2023. Jay Z just dropped the God Dead. We spit for eight, eight uh, minutes straight. And not just because he's the richest, it's just I agree with it. Some of the best, best rappers that we ever looked up to. Uh, fell off when they got older. It's just the bottom line. When they try to make new music, they use played out words, played out flows. Be honest. The one I agree. Okay, so you heard them, y'all. Um, Jay Z has longevity in the rap game. He might not put out albums no more, and that's understandable. He don't need to. He did his part. He, his debut album, 1996, he was dropping albums every year, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. Um, actually, two projects in 2002. He put out The Best of Both Worlds with R. Kelly and The Blueprint 2. 2003, The Black Album. He took a hiatus, came back out of retirement in 2006. He dropped um, Kingdom Come in 2007. He released American Gangster. You know, he was doing a lot of features. He released Watch the Throne. I mean, well, before Watch the Throne, the Blueprint 3 came out, what, 2009? Even like 2009, the Blue, Blueprint 3 came out 2009. But my thing is, Jay-Z can be in the top 10. I'm not mad if Jay-Z was in the top 10. As far as Jay-Z being what? Top number one, greatest rapper of all time? Nah, I'm going to disagree right there. Like I told y'all, Nas need to be number one. Nas, not only he was the most consistent rapper, but at the same time, I'm not looking at the accolades. F the Grammys. F the Grammys, F the billboards, F the stores. So all that stuff is irrelevant. We talking about pure hip hop right now. The billboard don't mean shit, but I'm talking about the greatest rapper. Nas has to be up there. Look at the projects he dropped. You know, Illmatic 94. He dropped It Was Written 96. I Am 99. That was actually supposed to be a double CD, but it actually got leaked a couple of weeks or a month before it came out. So he had to actually throw it out and um rush it. That was gonna that was gonna actually change him as far as that double album. Because the double album was gonna actually be like I think volume, excuse me, the this one would have been um like I, I think it was more like him telling his life, like the autobiography, and him committing suicide in this one and this two, with him taking you through like the spiritual ancestral realm of him, his life, you know, how everything is going now. So a lot of songs on the Lost Tape were supposed to be on I Am. Nostradamus, I did not like that. I was boo boo, but he, his career was um, reinvigorated when he came out with Stillmatic. Um, Godson 2002, Double CD, Street Disciple, 2006, Hip Hop Is Dead, The Nigger Album 2008, some people say Untitled, whatever, Damian Marley Project, the collab album, I love that album, Distant Relatives, You Got Life Is Good, you know, he ended up coming out with the Nasir Project with Kanye, a lot of people said they didn't care for that. All right, um, with Hit Boy. Look at the run with Hit Boy. Four albums. KD, one, two, three, Magic. Man, that's four championships right there. Now, he about to come out with KD, four this year? Oh, my God. And that, we're not even talking about the features Nas has been on. And the Firm album, we don't even have to get to that. 
But to me, I always feel like Nas is number one. I know some people think Karis One is still is number one to them. Karis One never fell off. Think about Karis One, y'all. He might not, like I said, he still he don't have, he go to the hip, the hippity, hip hop hop. Karis One still has the vocabulary. He still has the energy. Everything. Snoop Dogg. I'm, I'm not gonna say number one, but he you know he's been moving and doing his thing since '93. So I don't know. I'm gonna disagree and say I believe Nas should be number one as one of the greatest rappers of all time. If you think Jay Z is, that's you. I'm not gonna argue with you, okay? If you think Kara's one, if you think Ice Cube, if you think Snoop Dogg, if you think Eminem, that's fine. Be respectful in the comment section, please. Do not disrespect nobody in the comment section. If I see anybody being disrespectful to anybody in the comment section, I'm going to block you from this channel because I don't get out like that. We can all address address anything. We can speak our minds. We should be able to say what we got to say and everybody should respect it. If you don't like what somebody said, that's fine. Just say, I don't like that, but that's cool. I still respect that you said what you have to say. There's a lot of people that say things in the comment section I disagree with, but I was like, all right, I respect that you still left a comment. So thank you. But I still respect that you are subscribed to my channel or you came to my channel and left a comment. So I'm going to always show you that utmost respect. Let me know what y'all think. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Stream Apps. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.